Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Brand new promo coming today to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team named Team of the Year Warm Up Series. Now, this is brand new. We have never seen anything like this. So we're gonna be taking a look at a lot of things today, talking through a lot of scenarios as to what this promo might be, what kind of content we could be seeing. Uh, I guess over the next week, because still team of the year voting is going on right now. This is not, even though this is a team of the year, it looks to be a team of the year, like branded promo since they show team of the year on the loading screen, the voting for team of the year is not yet over. So this seems to be, it's, it's going to be some sort of pre team of the year promo today that is going to like lead us into the big team of the year promo, which would ideally be, and probably is one week from today, next Friday on FIFA 22. So team of the year nominees are in discussion, right? Of course, that's rolling it back to FIFA 20 where they released all of the nominees who were in the team of the year vote into packs. That does not look likely for today. And kind of what we were imagining earlier this week, what our next week um, heading into team of the year might look like on FIFA, a lot of SBCs and a lot of objectives. And this uh, warm-up series promo kind of fits that bill. So we're going to talk about a lot of things today, try to fit it into a short amount of time. So if you're excited for this new promo, because it's brand new, there's a lot of unknown, what in the world is team of the year warm-up series going to be? Smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Now we have a little bit of information already from our leakers and from some sources and just from, you know, some analytical thinking about other promos that we have had this year. Um, but this is some of the stuff that we know already. This is, of course, the loading screen. And one of our trusty leakers, Trusty, uh, tweeted out that this promo is kind of based around SBC's objectives. And especially with SBC's, that's going to make SBC fodder rise a lot higher in price. So we're going to take a look at that. But that's kind of what I was imagining as we headed into this Friday. I was, I was thinking that we would have some sort of promo that would be focused on SBCs and objectives as this is a time right before a massive promo like team of the year where EA wants to drain people's coins of clubs. They want them to go and do SBCs and for them to lose coins from their club so that they feel like they have to go and open packs um, and kind of make that pack withdrawal happen right before a ton of packs are going to be released on the game for team of the year, right? It kind of makes sense. They did it earlier this year before Black Friday with a promo called Foot Series. So again, Series was in the name of this promo. Series is in the name of this promo that's coming today. That's one thing that we have in common. Now, also what one thing that seems to be in common is there was a lot of objectives and SBCs on the week before Black Friday, and there was not a special team of cards in packs. And that seems to be similar with what this promo might be coming out today with warm-up series as well. Now, the one interesting thing is about this promo of that was released in November. You guys remember, right? The um, the David Neres SBC, the Eredivisie, Liga Portugal, and EFL Championship Milestone Squad Foundation series cards, right? These cards that are still in objectives on the game. They said on this promo page, more Squad Foundations players will be released in Foot 22 season once the first series is over. So, I don't think that this promo warm-up series has a direct correlation with um, these squad foundations because as you can see, these are still out for another week. All of these cards, right? Uribe, um, Openda, a lot of you guys have done these and finished them off already. I don't grind these that much, so I still have them here. But it sounds like the promo today for warm-up series is going to be similar to this, but it's not exactly this promo. So that's very interesting uh, to know about that and to hear about that. But since this is a team of the year related promo as well, how is team of the year going to tie in to an SBC and objective based promo before team of the year is even out? Well, there's a couple things that people are seeing uh, that might have a little bit of, you know, connection with that. Um, we have some new packs added to the code and this is pretty big because I think this, this kind of reminds me of last year during Team of the Year. They released position-specific packs. Um, and it's what it's going to do is, they're, I think what they're going to do with these packs is, they're going to put them out as either objectives or SBCs, and they're going to make you want to go after them and then open them up during Team of the Year to try to pack certain Team of the Year cards um, from those positions, right? So you have an 83-plus attackers, three players pack. Then you have it also for midfielders and defenders. And then you have an 81 plus attackers, three players pack um, for midfielders and defenders as well. And then you also have 
um, an 81 attackers players pack, which is just one 81 plus. You also have an 85 times three attackers, midfielders, and defenders pack as well. So that's very interesting. There's like two 81 pluses, oh, an 83 plus, and an 85 plus. So what I really think this next promo in this next week is going to be about is EA is going to release a bunch of SBCs and objectives to try to get us to grind the game and spend a little bit of coins to get these sorts of packs that are specifically tailored for when they release team of the year cards, right? Because when they release team of the year, they will be releasing them um, in sets, right? They'll do a goalkeeper and defender, then they'll do midfielders, then they'll do attackers, right? So I think what these packs are kind of designed to do is get us ready and also kind of get us in that saving packs kind of time frame, right? They want us to save packs, save our rewards, go out and do SBCs and save those packs for team of the year and make team of the year all about packs and trying to pack one of those team of the year items. And this kind of plays into that. So this, this is fun, right? This is cool. And you know, as long as these aren't super duper expensive, people are going to be willing to pay a decent amount to go out and do these. It's just kind of like a gamble pack, right? Like we had the 84 plus player pick released yesterday on FIFA, it's sort of the same thing. Like, oh my goodness, I would have an increased chance at maybe packing a team of the year midfielder if I do the 83 plus midfielders three players pack SBC, if that were to come out, right? So that's what I think this promo is going to have a lot of in it. Now, it's not just going to be these SBCs for the whole week. It sounds like there's going to be some pretty big time flashback and um, maybe some other player SBCs and other objectives that are releasing as well as a part of this. So let's look through a few of those. Now, this card right here, this is not confirmed stats, but this player, Saar from Chelsea, the French center back, this is leaked and confirmed to be today by one of our trusty leakers, Foot Sheriff, a Premier League milestones player. I believe it will be this card design and it'll be an objective item. He's going to have above 80 pace, but that's a French center back in the Premier League that will be free just grindable through objectives. I don't know if it's going to be through a friendly or through squad battles or whatever, but this is one of the cards that we are expecting to see on this game today. It's a little bit of a surprise because, um, you know, we have all the leagues um, kind of represented in this milestones uh, section already. We already have a Premier League league player. If I scroll down here, Premier League league player, we already have Menkeo, and this, uh, this guy's out for two more weeks. So it seems like they're going to maybe do a set two or a round two uh, of this somehow but that star card is one of the leaked cards to be dropping today on friday in the game now another sbc that i think is coming out today this is really unrelated to the promo but raheem sterling player of the month this would be the day that a player of the month would be released on a friday i expect this sbc to be released pre 6 p.m i think it'll be out before the 6 p.m content drop or whatever time content drop is for you and that's going to be an interesting card there's a lot of premier league as you'll notice for potential SBCs today. And we also have another flashback SBC, two more flashback SBCs that have been leaked to be coming soon. But the one in order of how they've been leaked, the one that would potentially come first would be Gundawan. And of course, uh, we've had a, a decent flashback SBC as of yesterday with the Pato SBC. This is another one that might be coming out very soon. These stacks, stats are not confirmed, but I would say this is one of the highest chances of a card that we could have today. I think that since it's a promo Friday, um, and if, especially if there's not players in packs, which it sounds like there's not going to be players in packs as a part of this promo, then I think it's almost 100% chance that they're going to drop an SBC player and an objective player to give people on FIFA something to grind today on the game. Now, there's one more flashback SBC that is leaked, but I don't know if it's going to be today or, you know, on the weekend or sometime in the next week, but it is this striker Icardi. And evidently he is going to have a massive boost. He's going to be four star, four star. And especially for this Icardi SBC, for the SAR item and for the Gundawan, you've already seen a lot of people go out on the market and buy cards to link to these players. That's one of the biggest things right now that has moved on this market and on this game. If you take a look, especially at this SAR item, if you wonder why he's the second most popular card on Footman at the moment, that's because he's getting an objective card, a special card in FIFA today. You've got Gold Conte, who has risen up over 10,000 coins. His item is up a lot. The other very popular card that people have invested in is the Reese James headliner card. Let's see if I can find that. I know it's on here somewhere. But Reese James headliner went up a decent amount in price. I actually don't even see him, 
which is kind of crazy. But let me search him up and show you how his price went up a lot. Reese James Headliner, 87 rated. He was like 109,000 coins. As you can see, he was like 109,000 coins and he exploded up to 125 where he is right now. Also, the Chelsea goalkeeper, Edouard Mendy, has gone from about 90 or 100,000 coins, I believe he was. He was 89,000 coins and he spiked all the way up now to where he is at 112K. People have invested big time for this brand new player, SAR, that is coming out today. So I'd be very careful with buying any more of these as I, you know, it's an objective player and it's really hype. It's a Premier League center back, but for a lot of this stuff, especially where the market is right now, not a ton of people are spending too many coins on teams. A lot of people are rocking untradeables. They've sold their squads and they're waiting to buy ahead of team of the year. So I don't know that these cards would go a crazy amount higher since they've already been bought up and invested in so much. So I would just be pretty careful with that. And then with the Acardi flashback, people have already started buying some players for that as well. Um, Angel Di Maria, his numbers up item was like 290K and he is now up like 40,000 coins. Yeah, 296, spiked all the way to 335. And now he's back up again to around that 335 range. So there's been a lot of people investing off of these leagues. So just be very careful if that is you. I would recommend selling into the hype for sure because you never know if an SPC is going to be good value or if it's going to be overpriced. But it seems like this is a guarantee for today. This is a guarantee for today. And then this would be the most other probable SBC unless they would release a Cardi first instead of Gundawan. But, you know, this would be a really cool card and a lot of people would be excited about it. So I think those are all SBCs and cards that we will see very soon. Some of those being today, some of them being in the future. Now, again, we talked about this promo not containing cards in packs, right? And one of the things that people are worried about is, is EA going to release cards and packs, it really seems like they're not, right? It seems like all signs are pointing towards they're not going to put cards in packs because as of right now, we don't have a card design for these team of the year nominee cards, right? Um, you know, they, they released these team of the year nominees in FIFA 20 in packs. They did not do it last year. They did honorable mention team of the year, but that was completely different. Uh, but in FIFA 20, and if you don't know what team of the year nominees are, Basically, there's 80 different nominees that are in the voting for Team of the Year. And in FIFA 20, what they did was they gave every single nominee a special Team of the Year card that was one rating higher and one in-game stat. Everything was plus one from their gold card. They just gave them a cool card design and a dynamic image, and they were expensive. They were very packable, very high pack weight, and it crashed the market like crazy. So, of course, people remember that, and they're wondering if that's going to be coming out today. Well, as of right now... There is no card design that has been added to the code as far as I am concerned that would mean these cards are coming into packs today. And especially um, since we haven't had people talk about it and like our leakers, they haven't been talking about cards in packs or be careful with the market. And I feel like this would be a totally different conversation today if they had if they knew that there were cards coming in packs then they, they, we would be talking about it, right? And we would know that it's coming. So since leaks are such a huge portion of the game right now, and since we don't have a leak talking about cards coming into packs and we don't have like the quality search filter, remember how Headliners was in here for like three or four days before the promo even came out? We don't have team of the year or team of the year nominee cards showing in here at all. So I'm really not expecting any of those cards to be in packs. Now, if EA wanted to be really slimy, they could, there is a, I would say this is like an extremely, extremely small chance, but just to throw it out there, if EA really wanted to do some slimy stuff, uh, they could release old cards into packs, um, you know, kind of like a foot player days, if you guys remember that. I really don't think that's going to happen. I think it's very, you know, that would not be, EA, EA does not want this to be a pack based and what cards can I pack type of promo. They want this to be gearing up for team of the year, which is all about the packs. Um, so I think that there's really not going to be any worry about what is in packs today on this game. So that's kind of what the promo is going to be about, right? So really today on Friday, we're, we're going to learn more too, because EA I'm sure is going to be releasing some information about what this promo is going to be, sp some specific wordage. And if there's more than just saving up some of those packs for team of the year and getting some cool flashback players and some cool, uh, objective objectives and other SBCs, then, then we'll figure that out today. But again, market wise, as we look for a content kind of perspective today on the game, yesterday, the market moved a lot especially around the Pato SBC. That's how I would expect the market today on FIFA 
to be moving as well. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be panic selling because of course, you know, unless we have a big SBC leak for today and, you know, we hear some more information heading into the content drop that we don't know right now when I'm recording this video, um, then I don't think the market's really going to have too much panic selling, right? We're not expecting lightning rounds. We're not expecting SBC fodder cards to drop because there's, it really seems like there's not going to be a lot of supply through this promo. So I don't really see why people would panic sell today. The only reason people might panic sell some cards would be like if we get a Gundawan SBC, right? A lot of people bought up a guy like Barella. You know, Barella is 330,000 coins at the moment. So, you know, if there's like a Gundawan SBC, you might see some other center midfielders get panic sold. Or if there's an Akardi SBC, then you might see some other strikers, you know, drop in price a little bit because of that one coming out. Um, you know, watch your Premier League center backs, I would say, with the SAR item coming out today. You might see some movements on those. Uh, maybe like Virgil van Dijk headliners card, a very rare item, but also a very popular item, 755,000 coins. So just keep an eye on some of that stuff today, of course, um, with new cards coming out as substitutes for positions. That's really where I feel like the, the market has the biggest amount of potential to move today based off of what SBCs are out. If Gundogan comes out and Sterling, that's a lot of Manchester City links, right? Probably your Cancelos, maybe your Gabriel Jesus cards would rise up a little bit with links to those items. So just kind of, you know, keep that in mind. I wouldn't go out and invest in that because again, we don't know if uh, Gundogan is coming today. If Sterling is projected to be coming, but still not a guarantee. Um, so we'll really have to see how the SBCs impact the market today on this game. But otherwise, um, you know, there's not going to be a ton of market impact besides just people selling cards. Now, SBC fodder, that's where there could be some other market movements. Now, some people think that as a part of all of these packs that have been added to the code, you know, they're going to, you know, maybe like especially for an 85 plus times three for each of these, you know, positions, then they might require, you know, maybe an 83 rated squad or an 84 rated squad for that. So your 83s, if we take a look at the index, people have been investing in some of the lower tier fodder. The index 83, as you can see, went up with the 84 plus player pick yesterday and it's kind of stayed up. I think this might travel up further today on Friday as people look to invest and to maybe get ahead of the game on some of these types of packs that are shown and added to the code and how they might be released into the game. Um, you know, these could be packs that are in the store as well. These might be packs that EA puts in the store and sells for FIFA points during team of the year. Not all of them might show up as SBCs or objectives. I guess that's something to kind of keep in mind uh, as well. So again, everybody is talking about like in this tweet, he says fodder season, right? Everybody is talking about and expecting SBC fodder to continue to rise because there's no supply. And it seems like with more SBCs coming, there's just more demand. So if you've invested in fodder and you're looking at profits, I mean, definitely keep holding because this stuff is supposedly just going to keep rising. It all depends on the content, but that seems to be how this might be playing out in the next couple of days. The only way that would cause like an absolute mental market crash or crazy movements on the game today, in my opinion, would be a preview pack and EA somehow in some way throwing some crazy cards back in packs that we weren't expecting at all. So I just feel like today, you know, might be, there's a little bit of a buildup, of course, as, as people are, you know, excited about this new promo. Since it's related to team of the year, we're really going to have to wait and see how that plays out and what, what aspects of team of the year are related to this promo that comes out. Uh, but I'm interested, right? I'm kind of cool with this because, you know, give me another week to grind a few icon swaps, to grind through a few more objectives and stuff like that to get some things done. And, uh, you know, maybe give people a chance to get their weekend leagues done early too, because I think also after this weekend, you're going to see a lot of dropping on the market as people sell their cards, especially if this is a pre-team of the year promo. People are going to be like, oh my goodness, team of the year is going to be insane. So a lot of people I think are going to sell the remaining cards that they have from their uh, clubs, you know, in their main team at the end or later on throughout this weekend as well. So that's just kind of something to keep an eye on. Now, really quick, we're going to look back at yesterday. This Pato SBC that we mentioned before, you know, we were hoping that he'd have, he would have five-star skills, but this SBC is still making a lot of moves and a lot of people are having a lot of fun with this because it's still a really good card, right? Four-star, four-star, high-low work rates, finesse shot trait, really good stats. It's a fun item. And one of the reasons why you can tell that a lot of people are doing this card again is because Brazilian cards on the game yesterday 
exploded in price. Here's a here's a number one example. Fred rode to the knockouts, right? This guy was 230,000 coins yesterday. Right now, 280K on the market. I actually traded with a couple of Brazilian icons, like all of the versions of Kaká went up yesterday. I bought a Garincha at 1.1 mil, sold it at 1.23. So a lot of these Brazilian icons are up in price. Uh, Roberto Carlos was up. Again, the Kaká cards were up. There's a lot of just Brazilian cards on this game moved because people bought or bought cards to go do the SBC for Pato, and they had to link him somehow on their team. So this is a really cool card. GG's the EA. I wish they would have done five-star skill moves. I mean, because again, earn a, a special flashback, Alex Pato celebrating his 10-11 Serie A season with Milan, right? Well, back in FIFA, in that day and age, he had five-star skills. EA Sports, all you had to do was give him five-star skills, and this SPC would be absolutely mental. But it's still a fun card. I still think I might get this done just for the card collecting sake of this game. Might be a fun card to have to try out to use uh, here and there, maybe for some Brazilian objectives later on down the line. Just a fun card, maybe an MLS squad, that sort of stuff. So that was a really cool SPC. It was fun. I just think that it was maybe like seven out of 10 on the hype scale uh, for some of us that were expecting to see the uh, five-star skills on that card. Last thing I wanna talk about is Headliners Team 2. They are going out of packs today. Some of them went actually lower yesterday with the loading screen and, and uncertainty about what this um, brand new warm-up series promo is gonna be about. Mohamed Salah is down even further. He was 1.1 million coins flat. So some of these cards are just kind of chilling. A lot of them really haven't moved too much. Um, Fofana is one that has gone down. He was down to actually 840,000 coins. There's a bit of panic selling on him. Um, I, I just think that the reason why these cards are down makes sense a little bit because we have a brand new promo that people don't really know much about. And we have a lot of leaked SBCs that would pull people's attention away from these headliner cards. Now, I do think that there's plenty of these headliners that will rise out of packs, especially since they're live. Some of these guys have games. Um, maybe even today. I haven't looked at the sofa score schedule to see what games are today, but there's going to be guys playing games today and tomorrow and through the weekend um, that have live cards and have headliner items. So just kind of keep an eye out for that and, and keep a watch for that as maybe you've invested in some of these. I have some of these cards on my transfer list as well. Um, I have a couple Rafael Leal's. I have a couple traps. So if these guys were to get sold off even more today, that could be a situation where you maybe say, okay, um, these guys are out of packs and they're dropping and they're live cards. This might create a scenario where I can, you know, maybe make a couple buys here if I want to, if you have some more dropping prices on them today. So that's just kind of something to keep an eye out for as well. But, but, uh, brand new promo coming today. Really excited to see what is all involved inside of warm up series as we head into a like pre team of the year promo. I don't know. I'm just, I'm very curious, excited, curious, and Hopefully, there's a lot of potential with this promo and hopefully EA deliver with some Team of the Year themed content, maybe some really cool flashback SBCs, something related to Team of the Year of years past or something like that. So that's the video for today, boys. If you're excited for this promo, hit the thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.